Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Thank you so much for joining me at the end of the last episode. You saw us take this uh, this uh, satellite array here. What's the name of this thing? Like Ravel or something? Yeah, Revere. Revere Satellite Array. We uh, cleared it out with Strong's help, and now we are wearing some power armor. Gonna be a whoa, whoa, whoa! Get out of here. What the hell? I'm trying to talk to people, you stupid dog. Legendary feral mongrel. Keep him busy, Spider. There. Gee whiz. Thanks. Thing came out of nowhere. Let's see what it had on it. If anything. Should have had something. Assassin's metal left leg reduces damage from humans by 15%. Okay, cool. Anyway, what I was getting ready to say was, uh, our inventory is pretty high right now. Especially when you consider that we're wearing power armor. And I think that uh, Strong has quite a bit of stuff on him as well. So, um, what I want to do is I want to go back to Sanctuary and manage my inventory. And then I'm going to take this armor and drop it off someplace else because I already have some power armor at... Sanctuary, and I also ha already have some power armor at another place. Let's see here. Um, uh, might be, might be Green Top Nursery, maybe. Might be. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna drop off this armor someplace else. Just I don't know, kind of spread out the armors that I've found around the wasteland. Not that I'm gonna remember where they are, but. Whatever. Let's head back to Sanctuary. Sanctuary. And I'll manage my inventory. It'll probably take me a good 15 25 minutes to do that because it does take a while. And uh, then we will resume. And we're back. So I did a lot of inventory management just now. And there's a couple things that I still need to do that I was going to share with you guys. Um, right now I have two power armor suits here. I've got this one here. And you can see that he's got the. Uh, T-45 helmet, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, and T-45 torso. But I've also got this T-45B torso. You can see this one does uh, 220 uh, damage resistance, whereas this one only does 200. This one does 150 electrical resistance. This one only does 130. And this one does 300 radiation resistance, and this one also does 300. Um, also, this one has a 260 max health, and this one only has a 200 max health. So I'm going to equip this power armor with this T45B torso. Now watch what happens when I do this. See, he's got T45. What I would expect to happen is I would expect the T45 to come back over here and the T45 to B to go over here. But when I do this, actually, now that I think about it, what happened before when I was doing this is the T45B went over here and it was like the T45 went away. But now I'm thinking maybe I'll just do this and then this. That way I'm not wasting this. So now I have this extra T45 torso, and I'm going to store my. Uh, I'm going to store that torso here for later. Now, as you probably noticed, I also have a T45 left arm. This power armor right here is missing uh, left arm, right? So I'm going to take this left arm and give it to this. But when I do, uh-oh, broken items cannot be equipped until they have been repaired. And if you look, it has zero out of 50 health. So we need to repair this left arm, and I imagine we do it here at the Power Armor Station. I have not done this before. Um, here we go. T45 left arm. How do I... I don't see an option. I meant craft. Maybe I pick transfer. There we go. Ooh, we can mod these things too. I did not realize this. Uh, so, here we go. We have the option to repair right here, so I'm going to repair the left arm. Yes, it'll take. It'll cost four steel. Okay, it's repaired. Oh, that's weird. It actually like moved this power armor in here. All right, I guess it just picked whatever was the closest power armor. Strange. Uh, so I guess we could equip it now. Right leg. Uh, go. Let's go ahead and repair it as well. It's at 39. So repair. So it looks like no matter how f low the health is, maybe it uses four steel. Let me see. This one is can't re doesn't need repair. Okay, these don't need repair. I hate to 
spend four steel to repair this. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Uh, I don't have a helmet for this suit. And this is my better suit here. This one's, this one's more powerful than um, the other one. It has the T60 stuff on it and the T45. Let's see here. So I'm going to go to him and I'm going to grab his helmet. There we go. And I want to put that helmet on this suit. So here we go. We'll put the helmet on here. Now see this helmet is 24 out of 50. And see he's got the T60 torso. So this one is just better all around. So now that I've done that, exit, now I'm going to uh, craft it again. And the helmet needs repair. It's below half, so I'm going to go ahead and repair it. What did I do? Oh, whoops. See, normally T is equip. <laughs> Stupid interface. T for repair. Yes, repair. Okay, so now it's repaired. And then I could also modify these things as well. I don't know if I want to do that right now because I'm not really planning on going anywhere with this inf this stuff. Um, but why not? Available no mods. Model A, no material mod, no miscellaneous mod, and a headlamp. Model A. So he's currently Model A. I could do Model B, which doesn't require too much uh, scrap parts. And as you can see here, my damage resist goes from 100 to 120, my electric resist goes from 60 to 80, and my health goes from 50 to 65. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes. Okay. So now it's model B. Ooh, Codsworth loved that. Um, no material mod. I could put Minuteman paint increases charisma with all pieces painted. Military paint increases strength with all pieces painted. And for some reason, paint makes it heavier, too. See? Right now, it's it's 12.6, but if we put the paint on it, it goes up to 13.2. And then there's vault te Tech paint, which also increases charisma. Um, yeah, let's, let's go with strength. Uh, charisma... If I'm doing stuff with charisma, I don't think I'm going to be wearing my... Uh, um, my power armor anyway. So let's go with military paint, I guess. Okay, there we go. Alright. Oh, oh, deck on it. I didn't notice there was even more down here. Radiation resistance and energy resistance. Eh, that's fine, whatever. Uh, miscellaneous mods. I don't ha even have that option. I need rank 2 of science for that. And a headlamp. I could put a headlamp on it. Oh, I already have a headlamp on it. I could put, just put different uh, headlamps. Okay. Alright. That's pretty cool, I guess. Exit the station. So this will be my sanctuary power armor right here. Um, and then this power armor I'm going to take someplace else. Because I don't think I need two power armors here. Another thing I did when I was managing my inventory is that I swapped out my sniper rifles. And the reason I did that is because um, the sniper rifle I was using was using I think 308 ammo and I only had like 60 of those left but I have 844 of this 45 ammo so I swapped to this powerful combat sniper rifle it doesn't do as much damage as the other one did uh, so I'm gonna see if I could mod it a little bit and get a little bit more damage out of it so sniper rifle powerful receiver I should be able to get to huh. I thought I could get to I thought there was an, a, like an advanced one but I'm not seeing it huh Strong, get out of my way. So, I can only go to powerful. Hmm. That gives me 58. Looks like 58 is the max... Oh, no. Oh. Well, this will change the ammo type to 308. I don't want to do that because I'm almost out of 308 ammo. So, I guess I'll stick with that. Long barrel. That's fine. Huh. That's weird. This, this one... This rifle requires different... Uh, levels than the other one did. Alright, whatever. Standard magazine, scope, blah blah blah. Yeah, we'll just stick with all this stuff. 58 damage. I think the other one was doing 66, so this one will do less damage, but not that much less. Um, got this shotgun. I don't think there's anything more I could do with it. Now, I'm gonna stick with the 90 damage. Okay. And then my pistol. I don't think there's any... There's the advanced receiver I was thinking of. Okay. Alright, well, we'll just stick with all this stuff. 
And then um, I looked at um, different outfits to wear. I have uh, some Brotherhood military fatigues. Then I also have like a Minuteman General's outfit. And I put those on, but with those on, I couldn't also put on the this chest piece and the chest piece, God, not chess, chest piece, and other armors. So I'm I'm sticking with this. I, I don't know what other outfits I can wear that will allow me to put armor on top of them. So we're sticking with this. Um, I I believe I have three points here. I'm gonna go ahead and spend one of them on. Uh, let's see here. Not gun nuts. What's the one for armor? Armorer. Yes, I'm gonna go to rank two. Is that what I want? Let me let me see. Let, 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 let me see if I even want to do that. So let's go over here to armor and craft. So here's this chest piece, studded leather. Oh, that's as high as I could go with that. Pocketed. Okay, I could put in these different linings. And I could go to deep pocketed if I had rank two of armorer. Increases improved carrying capacity. That's kind of cool, right? Um, I might do that. So that's one advantage of going up to rank two of armorer. Uh, the jumpsuit itself, insulated lining. I could go to these other linings here. Well, I could only go to treated lining, which would give me a little bit more uh, radioactive radiation resistance. Eh. So that's a little bit. This one requires rank 3, and I'm not going to go up to rank 3 right now. Uh, and then these things, this right arm, let's see, left leg, alloyed metal. I could go to polished, which does give me a bit more. Better damage resistance. I, I might do that. That's what Rank 2 will allow me to do that. And then lighter build. I'm already at lighter build. Deep pocketed would get rid of the lighter build. I kind of like having a lighter build. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, rank two here in armorer. Okay, armorer right here. Choose, accept. Okay, so now I'm ra I'm rank two. We'll come over here to our armor workbench, and whoops, I picked the wrong thing. And let's see, pocketed, we could go now to deep pocketed. Doesn't make it any heavier, but it says it improves my carrying capacity. So I'm going with it. Make it, okay. Uh, I didn't think there was anything I'd do here. Here, we can go to polished metal, which is heavier, but gives me quite a bit more damage resistance. So let's go with polished. Lighter build. I kind of like lighter build. I'm going to stick with lighter. Ooh, ultra light build. Ooh, that's something to look forward to. Uh, and then we could do the same thing with this one. We could make it polished. So we're making ourselves a little bit heavier, but we're also making ourselves a little bit safer. Polished, 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 and then for whatever reason, oh, I have this studded leather left arm because it has that safe crackers uh, perk here. Increases size of sweet spot while picking locks, and I kind of like that, so, because I do a lot of lock picking, you may have noticed. So I don't want to change that, and I could go to deep pocketed. Oh, yeah, let's go to deep pocketed. It doesn't make it weigh anymore, so let's go to deep pocketed. Okay. All right, so there we go. It's a little bit of modding there, armor and uh, weapons, so that's kind of cool. So I think I'm ready to venture forth. Uh, like I said, I want to go drop this armor off at a different location, and I think I'm going to take it down to um, Sunshine, whatever, if I could find it. Let's see where Sunshine Tidings Co-op. I'm going to take it down here because I know that, or at least I think, I I saw a uh, power armor um, crafting thing there. And I'm also going to ditch Strong for the time being. He hates pretty much everything I do. I'm just not going to make him happy. Uh, the problem with that, though, is that I don't really know who to travel with. I guess we could go back with Codsworth, because we still haven't gotten his, his affinity perk yet. So let me call Codsworth over here, and uh, we'll, travel, we'll travel with Codsworth again. So, so far, we've gotten Preston's affinity perk, 
and we've gotten uh, uh, Piper. I almost called her Sniper. Piper's Affinity Perk. I'm still trying to get Codsworth's. Is this Codsworth or is this Curie? Codsworth. Codsworth. May I accompany you, sir? Yes, please do. Please, please come with me. Yes, Codsworth, of course. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we're going to leave Strong here in Sanctuary Hills. Okay. Oh, normally they say stuff to each other, but they didn't that time. Okay, so I'm going to hop in this... Um... Oh, wait a minute. Let me make sure I didn't leave a uh, fusion core in this thing, because my understanding is that people could come and steal them. Uh, okay, that's cool. What do you need? Let me check this one over here. <laughs> Everybody's like, well, what do you want? Ah, I just wanted Codsworth. I didn't want all you guys. Um, so I'm going to transfer a fusion core into this. Here, we'll put this fusion core in here. It's almost dead. What's cool is fusion cores don't weigh anything, so you can just walk around with fusion cores. It's well, great. Well, well. well, well, well. Let's see if Codsworth hates this. Let's see what he, how he feels about me hop, hopping in here, because Strong did not like it. He did not Have like riot, it. Sir. Have a riot, sir. Strong disliked that. He does not like it. Strong doesn't like anything. Oh my god, I look ridiculous. Okay, let's go to our uh, map, if I press the right button. Map down to Sunshine Tidings. And uh, I'm just going to drop off the um, power armor here. I'm going to try to save my power armor for when I feel like I really need it. Of course, I'm so dumb I don't even notice when I need it. <laughs> I just happen to get lucky and come across power armor when I... Uh, um, took on that uh, Revere Satellite Array. Okay. I think... I think there's a... Man, look how the ground shakes when I run. Jeez. You know, I could be wrong. Maybe there is a to power armor thing here. Is it in here? Mr. Oh. Fox, That's me. This place does bring back some pleasant memories of the old world. Does it not? It sure does. It sure does, Codsworth. Now, why is my left arm in red? On this thing. I thought I repaired every... Oh, actually, there was one that I didn't repair, wasn't there? Alright, maybe I don't have a uh, power armor thing here. And this kind of bugs me because somewhere in this big area I could already have a power armor crafting station. But I wouldn't know it because I can't find it. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to build another one if I really don't need it. But what you gonna do? Oh gosh, this, this body is still here. Look at this. I mean, can I... I can't scrap these things. Right? I could scrap the chair. Might as well, it's a broken chair. But this guy, he just kind of stays here. Nothing I could do with him. I could pick him up. And then, you know, very, very, very slowly carry him somewhere. You know? Just to kind of clean up the place. Let's just throw him in this bush here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just to get him out of the middle of the stinking floor. Uh, I'm going to go over here and make this my um, power armor crafting barn. That's what I'm going to do. So, let's see here. Let us... Uh, I'm going to uh, scrap this. Let's just scrap this stuff here. Sorry guys, you shouldn't just leave your crap sitting around if you don't want me to scrap it. Okay, nothing to scrap there. Oh, scrap the cleaner. I'm gonna, um... Oh, can I pick that up? Can I pick that up? So some things, some things you could pick up, like this, I could actually pick it up and move it. Right? So I'm just gonna set it against this wall here. This is a perfectly good table. But this here is in my way. My only option is to scrap it, so... scrap it dee Uh, now I'm going to build... Uh, crafting... Uh-oh. Oh, am I not going to build it to be able to build it? Oh, here we go. Power armor station. Can I build it? I can't build it. I need rank 2 of local leader in order to build this. Alright, whatever. See? So we're just going to leave this armor here. And then at some point I'll come back and uh, be able to build a power armor station. I don't know. Oh, take the fusion core. Don't want anybody stealing it. Oh, grab the wrong thing. Alright, cool. There, there's that. Everybody happy now? I don't know. I'm somewhat happy. Okay. 
So, now what? Uh, at the end of the last episode, if you remember back that far, uh, when we completed the uh, the uh, investigating the satellite array and we found Scribe Ferris's holotape, uh, we found out about this bunker. I said that we would probably go investigate it, but actually I decided that I'm not going to do that, considering how difficult that uh, satellite satellite array was to uh, infiltrate. I'm thinking maybe I'll wait till I'm a higher level to do this. So. I think what I want to do is kind of go back to uh, Valentine's Detective Agency and talk to him because I believe he's somebody who can be a companion and I'd like to have more companions. So I'm going to make this our current quest. Go to Valentine's Detective Agency. Nick Valentine wants me to meet him back in his office in Diamond City where we can discuss the details of Sean's disappearance. Okay, so let's find this on the map. Diamond City Market and fast travel. So here we go back over to Diamond City. Holy cow, that's scary. Uh, 